welcome to questpons youtube channel and what are we learning today today we'll be discussing a very 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 simple shisha very simple shisha interview question what is i enumerable why do we need i enumerable what is the importance of it and so on right now this question is a very simple question right but it it is very surprising that many developers either don't know the answer or uh, many of them who answer the question they just answer 50% part of it and remember that you know questions uh, around collections or or simple questions you know she sharp fundamental questions uh, you know like array array list and i enumerable and i queryable i enumerator yield keyword you know these are some of the questions that if you are not able to answer it sends a very wrong signal in the interview right so let us try to answer this question now when this question comes up right many developers would right away answer saying that the goal of i enumerable is to enable iterations or in other words you know to enable this fantastic uh, for each loop over a collection right so if you have an array list or if you have a list right and if you want to do a for each loop over it you know then i enumerable Uh, is needed or i enumerable helps you to do that now this answer is 50% right and if you are lucky and the interviewer does not cross question you you are good but let us say if the interviewer cross questions you let us say that if it is a bad day and the interviewer cross questions and says that well without the knowledge of i enumerable you can see the screen you can see the code on the screen without the knowledge of i enumerable we are still able to iterate over an array list or a list or a collection or a dictionary or anything right so um when we are able to do that right why do we have to explicitly know about i enumerable because you can always do a for each loop over an array list over a list right you don't have to specifically do something right so now you are stuck with this googly right uh and that's why i always say a little bit of advertisement that's why i always say that please go prepared for interviews right remember when you say that you want to crack an interview one is that you should know the technology for example let us say you want to go and crack c sharp right so you should know c sharp step by step you should do a project you should do mvc project but at the same time you should also do interview questions you should go through the basic concepts right so on questpon.com you know we have uh you know both the things you know you can learn step by step as well as you know you can go through the interview question so you can learn msbs step by step and you can have the interview question you can learn angular step by step and then you will have somewhere an angular interview question right in the same way you can learn asp.net mvc at the same time you will have interview questions right so we have this step by step and interview question both of them together and please you know uh, this week also i am having uh of the weekend training on architecture so please attend my architecture training it's going on for i think now this would be the 10th or the 11th session all the recordings are uploaded please go ahead and join this training as well as you know exciting you know offline on saturday and sunday in mumbai we are having the learn angular training so in case if you are interested you can join the same as well right so let us go back to the topic so that's why i always say go prepared go prepared you know when you get such kind of cross questions it is something you know it's it's not that you don't know the answer it is just that you have to be prepared right so the complete answer must be the complete answer is i enumerable helps to iterate without knowing the actual type of collection you have at the back so it acts like an abstraction so now let us try to understand it with an example remember that Uh, when you say you are preparing for interviews it does not mean that you have to mug up huh you have to understand the concept you have to know how to answer those cross questions so you can see that here here we have this simple get function out here and this get function depending on situation if it is monday it is giving out an array list if it is not monday it is giving out a list so this get function is you know giving out different type of collections right and now let us say you want to go and iterate over it right so if you want to do a for each over it then what you do you expose out an i enumerable so you'll say okay just expose out an i enumerable that's it and now you can go and you can do a for each loop over the get function easily so you can say for each over the get right so you can see now this this 
for each loop out here does not know that he will get an array list or he will get a list right so that's what the use of i enumerable is it is an abstraction it is an abstraction and also you know this i enumerable uh, becomes very useful you know for example if you want to go and pass a generic collection so let us say if you have uh, a method here called a sort right so in this sort you want to go and pass a collection but you don't you know but it, you want it to be generic you know so let's say this sort function actually can take any kind of collection it can be a list it can be a dictionary and he can do the sort right so what you can do is you can again go and pass just i enumerable right and then uh, the sort can go and sort take this i enumerable collection and he can say okay if it is a list then he will sort in a different way if it is a dictionary it will sort in a different way and so on so now you know the client can call this sort function and he can pass in an, an array list so no problem in this he can also go and pass in probably a list he can pass in a dictionary so you can see now the sort function says that you just pass me i enumerable i don't want to get into details of the data types you know that it, it is a dictionary or it is a generic list or it is a list it is an array list you know i will just sort it out right so must be the complete answer you know when this question comes up in c sharp interviews is that i enumerable acts like an abstraction it like it it acts like an abstraction and it hides you know that what kind of collection exists at the back right so must be the complete answer is i enumerable helps to iterate without knowing the actual type of collection at the back it acts like an abstraction right now when this question comes up i enumerable there are 80 to 90% chance you know the interviewer can ask you a question saying that what is the difference between i enumerable and i enumerator what is the difference between i enumerable i queryable i enumerator yield keyword and so on right so must be you can go prepared for uh, these kind of situations remember that a prepared developer a prepared developer has more chance of getting a job than a unprepared superhero so you can be a superhero in a project you know but when you get such kind of cross questions be prepared you are asking for a big salary so why not go prepared right so please go to my website questpon.com and uh, we have lots of these courses you know which are specifically meant uh, you know so that you clear interviews so that you get good knowledge right now before i end this video i want to ask a simple question out here and if you know the answer of this question below in the youtube comments please go ahead and put the answer which design pattern which design pattern does i enumerable or i enumerator implement so which design pattern from gang of four does i enumerable and i enumerator implement right so that brings us to the end of this session please hit the like subscribe and the bell icon so that when such videos are uploaded you are informed right away who knows you know that one of these questions you know can be a deciding factor in interviews so happy learning happy job hunting thank you